welcome back folks um, as you can see I have the photographs of <coughs> the shots I got from FaceGen in Photoshop I have them all open and uh, generally this might be good enough for um, for you to model with but I also like to take it one extra step and make sure that um, these um, pictures or these um, planes reference pictures um, line up um, perfectly so I guess the first thing you want to do is um, check out the size of your image they always are the same size so image size is 400 by 400 so um, you have I have all three of them open so you want to go to file new and we'll make it 1000 by 400 make sure the width is the same um, sorry make sure the height is the same and the width you might want to make longer so you could fit um, fit two pictures in there and then um, crop them and I'll show you what I'm talking about so this is the new document I'm gonna grab the front image I'm gonna pull the background layer and drop it into uh, on my new document I'll close that up and make sure it's lined up correctly with the edge I grab my side shot do the same and now I have um, the front and side shot in the same document let's just go ahead and uh, fit that to screen <coughs> and this way your rulers really come in useful I'm just gonna try to um, place a line from the rulers on the top of the forehead the eyes and you see why the nose the mouth and the chin just to make sure these align perfectly and you can see even though I tried as much to ha make sure um, that um, my side would align with my front shot in face gen it didn't come out looking that way for some reason the side is a little bit smaller so I'm gonna have to go to um, hit control T to transform and just pull that down to make it bigger while trying to make sure they align it never aligns perfectly for some reason but this should be good enough now I have this I'm gonna make a copy of um, the front shot you don't need to do this but I like to do that just so I have that copy there make sure the copy of the front shot is highlighted go back to your drag tool and just move this over your side image move the front image over your side image while making sure that um, it's still aligned with your lines now I'm just gonna mark you over the um, copy of the front image and the side image and crop that right click on it to select let's uh, fit this to screen again and now you can see it aligns perfectly not perfectly in this case but it's definitely good enough um, as you can see from the ruler this is about um, six pixels six inches wide a little bit over six inches um, drag a line and put it by right at the middle it should be like 3.05 or whatever of the canvas and make sure that your front image is centered to that line there we go now we're gonna do the um, mirror over trick again gonna right click over the side of the face we want I turn I think I like the side of the face so I'm gonna mark you over that right click on it layer via copy like you saw in the first or second video we have the layer control T I'm gonna flip horizontal now in this case you might not want to go to screen and try to align the eyes because um I manually made sure that this um, 
mesh was facing the camera as best as I could so you can see it's about the same size as well not exactly but I'm just gonna do that go to screen make sure the eyes are aligned it doesn't take much it's already there just a little bit thinner this will be the thin side of the face go back to normal and you want to make sure that um, it's perfectly aligned which it is so I'm going to match this down I'm going to um, take a better look at the side shot which looks good and I'm going to minimize this if you remember we still have our perspective view out here I'm going to grab that and drop it on or you, can, or you could grab the layer and drop it on your document now we don't need this anymore but grab the perspective view and we'll make sure that the eye in your perspective view lines up with the eye line and the middle line right at that grid from the front view which it does right here so we've got a good perspective and um, I like to save a PSD copy just in case I need to come in and do some more work on it so I'm just gonna save this jeez I got a lot of this blackmail 14 <coughs> PSD and now I'm ready to save the JPEG files let's get these lines out of the way let's close this I'm gonna um, hide the perspective hide and hide the front we've got the side file save as you wanna save this as a JPEG uh, if you notice I have a lot of these I mean this program really helped me to boost my reference um, library there we go we just save the side shot okay I'm gonna bring the front shot up file save as blackmail 14 front I don't know if you see what I'm doing I already have a file named um, blackmail 13 so I just click on that and change it to 14 I don't need to type in everything go back to um, save this as a JPEG or save in the perspective blackmail 14 perspective and we'll have it saved now I'm just gonna double check that let me close on down Photoshop we don't need it for now These are the original files. Image planes. And there it is. Front perspective side. So you have your three shots, and this is very good for um, your 3D modeling. Um, it's better than something like this you can see how messed up this one comes um, looks and this is what I'm talking about this is the white part of the face this is supposed to be Kate Beckinsale and you can see how ridiculous this this wouldn't be very good to model with I have to um, take this into face gen actually as a si um, perspective and this is a side and you can see there are three different <coughs> from three different cameras three different pictures taken of her so although it might work <coughs> so that's um, all for actually getting a picture and I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how to get this into Maya so I'm just gonna pause right here I'll be right back <coughs> 